Hey guys, it's Genoheed here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the secret weapons hidden in Halo Infinite that you normally can't use. Now, there's quite a few we'll be going through today, so let's get right into it. This first one is the Extraction Device. And Extraction was actually a game type first introduced in Halo 4, where while you're capturing the objective, or capturing a zone, or whatever that was called, you pull out a little Extraction Device to, to uh, you know, do that thing, and this is... The extraction device. I don't remember if it looked exactly the same as this, but you know, it, it still found its way into Halo Infinite, albeit it looks way different. But you know, it, it's not surprising. It doesn't necessarily mean extraction's coming to Halo Infinite. A lot of times, especially when games, uh, you know, share game engines from previous games, sometimes assets from older games will get left over and make their way into the newer games, which that could be the case here, such as this next object, which is the assault bomb. And you know, this is the bomb that's used for the assault game type. And again, this doesn't look quite finished. It seems to be missing a few details and textures on it. So it doesn't necessarily mean that the assault game type is coming back to Halo Infinite either, but it's possible. And likewise, this next one is the Ricochet Ball, which um, this one looks more complete actually compared to the others. So I think it's possible that we could be seeing Ricochet come back. But again, this doesn't really confirm anything. It could just, once again, be left over from Halo 5 or even Halo 4. But this is what it looks like in the game so far. Now this next one is called a BTS coin object. Uh, there's different versions of the BTS coin. There's like BTS coin like heavy or primary or secondary, something like that. I don't remember the names of each one, but they all some version of the BTS coin. And some of them look like this, which are probably like uh, used for objective games. Uh, I'm not sure what objective game would have used this, but that is uh, that is one of them. And there's, there'll be a few more that we get to later. Uh, this next one is a pretty interesting one, and it is the Saul. And I think it's the, the exact same one from Halo 5, uh, at least visually. Now, it doesn't quite function the same anymore. It has a... I think it's like... It has like a little like, bit of a wind up when you shoot, and it takes a little bit to get the full power. Uh, and plus, uh, it doesn't have the sound effects anymore, and I think the projectile is a little bit different too. But the model is there, and it somewhat works. But I don't think it's the same as the saw from Halo 5. Next up we have the Golf's Turret. So this one is the detached one. You may have seen this in my last video about vehicles that can't be used normally. Uh, and I did spawn this one, but we couldn't use it because that was spawned as a vehicle. Now, when spawned as a weapon, then we can pick it up, and it does fire. It does technically work. You just, the projectiles are invisible, but they are there. Uh, next up, we had this rocket turret, which is kind of like it's, it's like half the turret from like the uh, the warthog. I think it's like half the Oni hog turret, I think. But it can be picked up, and it can be fired just like a missile pod in previous Halo games. Uh, although the missiles, you can see they don't quite look the same. It looks like they're like barely visible projectiles when you fire them. Uh, just no like explosion effect or anything. So again, it's another cut weapon or leftover weapon from previous games. Now this next one is a very bizarre one. It's a wraith cannon, but instead of firing wraith mortars, it looks like it fires like this zapping beam. And well, we've never. I don't think we've ever seen this before in any. Any, ver any version of the Wraith in any Halo game. And it looks kind of cool, actually. It's like a, almost like an electrical zapping beam. And it, it seems to do like a fair amount of damage to whatever it hits. Uh, but again, this could be like a cut or prototype version. I've, I have no idea. But I haven't seen it used anywhere in, uh, in the multiplayer so far. Alright, next up we got another BTS coin object. This one... Well, it looks like, it's, yeah, it's basically another, like, objective mode, um, item, and, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what game type this would have been used for, but, yeah, it's, uh, that's what it looks like, and this one puts you in third person, uh, whereas, um, the other one, actually, I forgot the other one did third or first person, but some of these would do first, and some of them would be third person. Uh, next up, we have the Proto Flag which is basically just the flagpole with no flag on it. And this one is not actually entirely unused. There was one armor set that was uh, on sale in a store on Halo Infinite like a week ago, where 
one of your uh, stances during the uh, the end screen of matches, you'll be holding that exact like flagpole without the flag. So that's where that's what it's used for. Uh, for this next one, it's another BTS coin object. This one just seems to be like a test object, really. It's um, there's actually many versions of this, but they all look the exact same. They're named differently, but they have the exact same model. So I'm only just going to show this one. But there are many versions of this exact same object. And again, I I think it's just some test object for objective game modes, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, next one. This one is actually pretty interesting that this exists. So this next one is just an unarmed weapon. It, it, it makes you unarmed. <laughs> it's, it's a weapon that makes you weaponless. <laughs> which uh, kind of doesn't make sense, but that, that's how it works. So that once you're weaponless, you could see that uh, you look weaponless, and it's a melee weapon, so you could like have like wep you know melee, melee fights only with other players without having to like hold an actual weapon. So it'd be cool if that actually gets you know used in the future for like custom games. So we could just have like you know fists only. <laughs> now this next one is just the warthog horn. <laughs> Which, uh, for since Halo 2, vehicle horns have always been like weapons that you fire, and that's still the same with with Halo Infinite. So that was the Warthog horn, and now here's the Mongoose horn. Now some of these recordings, they kind of glitch a little bit during recording, and I couldn't consistently fix it, so the sound might be a little bit distorted in some of them, so I do apologize for that. But luckily most of these weapons don't actually have sounds, uh, especially the cut ones or unfinished ones. So hopefully, you know, it, it won't be, it won't sound too bad. <laughs> uh, and this next one is just um, the tank cannon, but I'm just showing this because like any vehicle with like weapons, the, all those weapons can be used separately. Technically, they could be spawned separately. So I'm not going to show all of them, but I'm just going to show the tank one and then just mention that. But I will show this next one separately, which is the Banshee cannon. Uh, and, you know, it's significant because this one you know, there's no like regular Covenant Banshee anymore in Halo Infinite, and yet the uh, the Covenant Banshee weapon still exists, and it fires you know the blue bolts, although it has the red effect there, but it it still fires um, blue Banshee bolts, like the uh, the older Covenant Banshees did. So those are still in the game. Uh, this next one, I have no idea what it's called. I couldn't remember and figure it out anymore, uh, but it. Is like an invisible gun that you're holding and well that's it I don't think it actually shoots anything or does anything and when you get into the passenger of a vehicle it makes you stand up just like uh, a lot of older Halo games actually it's the same animation really uh, this next one is a chopper gun variant and it uh it's actually uh pretty pretty powerful I think it, it's a high rate of fire and does a fair amount of damage uh, I, I think it's it might be used for vehicle variants. I think I've seen other people uh, with videos of weapon and vehicle variants. So this might be a different variant of the chopper that uses this particular weapon. But uh, I again I don't know. It could just be left over. It could be cut. It could be a prototype weapon. It could be anything really. Uh, this next one's another unknown weapon, and this one is one that you have to like charge up, I believe, and. Once you charge up in a fire, it like, uh, it just, it releases like this electrical effect. And that's about it. Not really sure what else it does or what it was meant for originally. Uh, here's another one that's a unknown turret weapon. You can see like the symbol for picking it up was like the drop shield, I think. Or I, I'm not sure, I couldn't really tell what that was, but it was a symbol I haven't really seen before. But this one, it, um... Yeah, it, it is in first person actually, but you can uh, you can still fire it, and when you get into a vehicle, passenger seat, it, makes, it does make you stand up, but it's it's still shootable. And when it hits objects, it leaves like these blue balls or dots all over the objects. And yeah, it, it, the damage of it's not that great. It it takes a lot of shots to to destroy, like a like a mongoose even. So it's a, it's an odd one. This next one is another unknown turret weapon, and uh, this one, when you pick it up, actually does put you into third person, and yeah, it, it fires like these uh, explosive projectiles very rapidly. Uh, it's not a scrap cannon though, it, it fires different projectiles from the scrap cannon, I'm pretty sure. A lot more powerful actually, but again, I don't really know the purpose of that one either. 
And here we have another unknown charge weapon, which is, you know, a weapon that you pick up and you gotta hold to charge it. And this one, well, it, uh, I don't know what it's for either. And it pro projectiles that fires, they don't really do much either. But I'm pretty sure it is shooting something, an invisible projectile. All right, this next one is another. Un There's a lot of unknown weapons here, basically, and a lot of them don't have models either, but they can still be picked up and used and fired. And you know, some of them do have interesting results, but uh, I don't really know the purpose of a lot of them or the function of a lot of them. But that's what a lot of them look like. This next one is another missile pod turret that um, you can pick up as well. And when you fire it, it actually this one is like the. Uh, the Halo Reach rocket hog turret where it fires several rockets at once and it uh that's probably a cut weapon as well or left over but I'm not sure but but it definitely is firing the same amount of rockets and the same sound effect as previous Halo games so it definitely is at least left over and for our last weapon the um this one's another invisible one and this uh I think it's another I think it was another chopper or ghost weapon. I don't quite remember, but it does fire like a lot of rapid projectiles. But you can see the impact effects, the explosion effects, kind of like you know, like these colored squares. So obviously another unfinished or cut weapon as well. Now just a lot more weapons in the game. A uh, lot, a lot of like unused ones. Like even George's chain gun is listed in the uh, the game files, but a lot of them when they're spawned there's nothing. They, they don't actually exist anymore, but there's still references to a lot of like older weapons from previous Halo games. And there's probably even more out there that maybe can be spawned eventually, but I couldn't show it for this video. But anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video nonetheless and found it to be interesting. And if you did, as always, make sure to leave a like, leave your thoughts in the comments, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!